Rakdos has returned to Aratus Immortality Simulation. We, it looks like, uh, are a little bit further behind on the updates, and that's just going to be the case. You know, they're going to patch things as they see fit, and the versions will go out of date, but that'll slow down once they track down all the bugs. So, we just finished the Mistress fight, and I would say that for going in totally blind, we made a lot of mistakes. Uh, but that's to be expected. I, upon re-watching it, found a lot of different things that I could do differently. And I think we're going to have a much better chance at that fight next time. I've also done a couple things in the interim. Over the weekend, I started doing uh, what I theory crafted, Making new profiles and experimenting with the parts that you're given right off the bat. To unlock all of the potions. About halfway through, I was like, this is the exact same thing as pulling up a video of all of the recipes. It's just going to take me longer. Uh, so upon realizing that in my own head, I was like, okay. I looked up the recipes and cra crafted one of each of the potions. So... <clears throat> We now know what each of them do. There are a lot of really good ones in here, although I must admit I did not look through all of them. Some seem much, much better than others. Uh, next, we want to go over the graveyard here. And I think I'm going to upgrade the Arata statue with my 50. I think that this is a good upgrade because with one more upgrade into it, I feel like we can have our mana be set and we now have a spell that we want to be casting. I just can't tell where they get their uncaring attitude from. Oh yeah, where could that be coming from, Aratus? Who knows? Uh, the next hurdle that I have to overcome is my units here. Now, initially, I did plan on making another Black Widow and leveling it straight up to level 9. I feel like the Black Widow is an amazing unit in this team. It provides so much utility. You've seen me be able to position the enemies, remove blocks and wards, you know, do very good things with it. Uh, it its ability to attack the life and sanity, very, very good in this team. But... I was thinking that there could be some alternatives, especially now that we are leveled up a little bit farther. Uh, we can employ different strategies, and there's a couple different ways that I want to go. Uh, first, I do want to try a shade in this team at some point. It seems that they buffed the shade's pain reflection. This was a stance that was seldom used, at least by me. And it seems like it does a whole lot more stress damage as a counterattack for your whole team. This team's pretty meaty. So if we go into Pain Reflection and we are fighting against enemies with very high damage, there's a chance that they could drive themselves crazy very easily. And we could finish them off with our automatic kills that the, uh, that the two Abominations have. So that's one thing that I want to try out is using a Shade in this team. But for right now, I actually want to pull out this champion lost soul that we made in the very beginning and have been ignoring. Uh, the lost soul was not very impressive right off rip. The other units did not have their major ability upgrades, so they weren't nearly as effective. And the lost soul itself was not nearly as effective. But I think... If I move the party around like this, okay, Gumball can still get hungry on turn one, making his damage great. We can still stomp with Gorger on turn one, plus Gorger's up front, so we won't run into the situation where he can't attack. Uh, Nurgle can do things from any position. Nurgle does not need to be in any specific position. 
Uh, but it is unfortunate when he moves himself, which is why we put the leg cuffs on him. Uh, and now the Lost Soul uh, actually provides us with a, a Wrath outlet. Previously, the only thing we were using Wrath for was Nurgle's Scythe of Death sometimes. We didn't even need it most of the time. Uh, and then very rarely we would use the, uh, the Break and Swallow. But Sudden Reality on this team now that it has gotten a lot stronger is very good very very good um the fact that this gives one dread and one attack is super great for all three of my units they deal passive sanity damage they deal very very good attack damage and they can apply debuffs like crazy when you can't battle thump from position one? <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, no. Well, I guess Nurgle can be up front, right? You can't use Agony from the front position. But you can use Spectral Wave. It's not that great. Not compared to Agony. Agony of Fire, that is. You can use this, but... You can't even use it from position 2. You have to be in position 3 at least. Huh. How do we fix this? Uh, we could just have Gumball go first. If we increase Gumball's initiative very, very high, and we do have the potential to do that with the rest of his upgrades here, I think. What's your initiative, my man? 10? Gumball's is 8. Yeah, it would be difficult. But if Gumball went first, he would get hungry, move up, and then Nurgle would be in the third position, which would be perfect, and Gorge would be in the second position, which would be perfect. So Gumball going first is pretty important. I could always just have him wait. No, that doesn't solve the solution. That doesn't solve the problem. Ah, oh, dang. All right. Well, we're coming to a little bit of a hindrance in our team composition here, in our order. What do we do? Just I'm gonna I'm gonna do that anyway. So now there's a very small chance he'll go before Forger. Um. Now I do have their major ability upgrades here. And I really was thinking, okay, yes, I thought that this move could do stress damage in, in one of the upgrades. What's the other thing? The target gets debuffed. I like the stress damage way more for him specifically because he is building Dread. He's specifically building Dread, so adding Dread uh, damage onto this is My so enemies valuable. Are in for a nasty surprise and you're already maxed out here maxed out there could give you a little bit more accuracy yeah enemies are gonna start getting evasive here soon uh, initiative on Nurgle hmm. I do want him to go before the enemies but if the enemies get their uh, initiative minus that should happen anyway yeah I'm gonna save but you do have soak What's Spectral Wave looking like? Energy Wave, a little bit more damage. A Stress Attack. Hmm. I haven't been building Dread on you, so you would get way more bang for your buck out of going damage. Plus he gets one more point. Drain could ignore his block and ward. I actually think I need this. Right? Yes. I actually need this. Um... The Black Widow provided me with a way to remove enemies' stances through block and war, and right now I don't have a way to do that. Although removing all buffs from the target does kind of not synergize with the Lost Soul. Could I just go full spell power? I do have that insane spell power trinket. Right here. 
And I think I discovered something about this trinket as well that I'll share on the first fight. Uh, should have maybe considered all my upgrade paths before starting the stream, but that's okay. What is this? They become insane or inspired? No, definitely not that. So much spell power. I actually think Energy Wave will be okay. I think it's not an awful move. That's quite a bit of damage to the whole enemy team and magic damage. I so expect results. We'll try it. We'll try that, and for you, I definitely want to go War March if I need... Ooh, I can give an initiative here, but then you get Funeral March. I need to see if these stack at some point. Um, otherwise, we're just trying to give you more damage. Unfortunately, that's this route. Could give you more life. Uh, reflect. 5% chance to kill automatically. No, I would rather have more percentage. More percentage, because he's going to have super high attack value. Yes. Get back to battle. And lastly, let's really... Okay, we need to make sure that her move goes through ward, her pull move. Uh, this. This is this Doom to Heroism needs to ignore ward. It's mainly used to interrupt stances, and we need it to uh, ignore their ward right off the bat. Next, I could be using Dubious Boon from the back most of the time. Let's see if this has changed. One block, one ward. Yeah, I actually like one block, one ward instead of two wards. Two wards is kind of nice if I'm going to be healing them, but... I think one block and one ward is a little bit better right now. No, you don't use Misleading Beauty very much. You can use this. It's quite a bit more dread. 10% chance to escape. No, I definitely don't want 10% chance to escape. How many of these do I get? I get three. So we'll go Serve here. Well, we'll go my here. Minion. Perfect. And do uh, you need any of these? Damage to elite enemies. Essence of Mind wouldn't be awful. That's kind of a cheesy way to restore our mana. Because she can deal damage to our own minions with her heal. And that would actually restore our mana. We'll hold off. We'll hold off on that. All right, let's let's spend a talent here and then get going. Spells, Gonna get sorrow, curses, so we can do some single target stress damage. I think I am as equipped as I can be. Yes. All right. Let me show off some of the things that I discovered through watching my replays. Oh no, you have stat points to spend. Whoopsie Daisy. Yeah, I should spend 16 stat points. Let's be honest. We need some initiative, some accuracy. Yep. Life. Dread wouldn't be awful. You're going to be doing a stress attack sometimes. There we go. And that will actually matter on this team. More initiative. Dread makes your uh, points used the best, I think. Cool. I'm actually very happy about that. Alright, mechanics. Let me show this off. First thing you're going to notice, our unit's going to heal right off the bat, right here. Soon as he gets a turn, he heals. Very first turn. I was watching my replays, and I realized that. Yo, Meyer, what is up, man? How's it going? I've been watching my replays as I'm putting these YouTube videos up, and I've learned so much crazy stuff. Like, these big boys heal on their first turn. I mean, it makes sense that they do, because they have the regeneration buff from the item, but it's just so crazy that when your units are hurt and you go into a fight, you actually get a little bit of healing right off the bat. 
I'm doing okay. I'm trying to make the best of a uh, of a situation right now, but I am I am doing my best. So uh, this dread roar. So worst case scenario happened. He went first. We do want him to be using his thump, and we you know we want Gumball to be going first ultimately. But uh, you know what? Could we have him wait? Gumball moves. He gets hungry, and then everything's okay. Then these guys get thumped at the end of their first turn, and then they remain thumped for two turns after that. Seems pretty good. Like, otherwise could just apply three stacks of damage right now and start hitting pretty hard. Since there's only three people, I think I'm just going to go for the damage drop. We're just going to try to get some kills here. Alright, you're going next, so let's do damage to you. Got it. Triple Ignite. Now. Okay. Uh, now, the other thing that I've learned is that this crazy Hourglass of Doom, each time Erratus uses an active talent, the Reaper increases Erratus' spell power till the end of battle. Now, I was watching my last videos, and I was doing math on the crushed bones, and I was like, okay, 50 plus 17 equals 67. And then it was doing like 71, and I'm like, what is going on here? So I actually think that the moment that you use the spell, Aratus gains the stack of spell power, and then the spell deals its damage, and the damage is calculated with the new spell power that you gained before the damage. Um, that's just what I thought I was looking at. I don't know if I'm crazy, but I'm about to test it now. Uh, should I just blast this guy? I mean, it's not going to kill, but it, it should do more than 67. Crunchy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um... So because of this, <laughs> he's stupidly good. He's so good. And if I do go the spell power route with him, he has a move that just gives me 18 spell power. So every single one of his turns, I can just crank my spell power. You know how much damage this thing will do? The next time I use this, it'll do almost 100. Like, I mean, yes, it's a lot of mana, and he does have to keep my mana up. But thankfully, he can take an upgrade where every time he uses this, he restores 10 of my mana. And he can use this from any position. And there is no stack limit. So I could have four Reapers, because it can be used from any position here. I could have four Reapers, and all they will do is Reap of Maelstrom, Reap the Maelstrom, Reap the Maelstrom. Just give me so much spell power, and then every single turn, I one-shot uh, an enemy with Crush Bones. <laughs> so that's what I've been thinking. Especially if they all have the hour less of do. Especially. Uh, so. Could do some stress damage here. Or I could just put some protection on him. I think just putting some protection. I don't think there's a reason to stress out the uh, berserkers. Alright. You get hungry. Ah. a reason I protected you and you're already dead so I am going to use this on you to gain some mana back it's all about that mana gain now okay you can quit hitting him so now I can heal him and it won't be a big deal at all uh, we're gonna do some heavy damage here but I want to use crush bones and make sure I get the kill. That's a lot of mana. But I think it's worth it. Let's see, 91. Dead. Delivered. Yep, and you died too. And. Now I want to do Agony of Fire because he has two blocks. And 
now we heal because this team can also heal. Alright. Funeral march. No, no real need. Let's just get your blocks off. Just kill you. Have you ran in any more e new enemy units? So, I fought the first boss. I don't know if you saw that fight. But I fought the first boss, the new first boss. Um, and I don't know if you noticed, but we're missing a unit. <laughs> she, she's straight. Her mechanics were nuts. Her mechanics were very cool. Uh, during the fight, because I didn't fully understand it, I was a little... I wouldn't say salty, but I was a little like, are you serious right now? Is this really happening? Like, because I... And like I said, the mechanics were very interesting. They they were uh, they were a little bit they functioned differently than I expected. Yeah, you still get ignited, so I don't care about you absorb. Um, yeah, so we 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 lost Bay Ranchula. Bay Ranchula got murdered. We ward that. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna actually sudden reality here. Yeah, I'm in a sudden reality. I have no way to remove armor with this team. I'm also realizing that's another big thing. But the reason I did that was to pump up his damage so that I can gain back more mana. Because I just gave six attack to him. Yeah, that's not as much as I wanted to be, but hey. That'll help us get mana back. We block that, and we're just going to keep him. Uh, yep, I'm going to do this to debuff you. Put the ignite on. And we wait. Cool. <laughs> How did that feel with the lost soul? It would have been a lot better if my turn order was better. She just hit level 10. Huh. Armor. Magic resist. Uh, let's save. Getting blocks and wards for her is very good. So do I make a Black Widow to replace Bobby? Because not being able to melt through their armor and magic... Well, how important is that? Some enemies have a lot of armor and magic resist. I'm going to keep using the Lost Soul for a minute. I'm going to just keep using the Lost Soul. Just kind of fill it out. Alright. Have not done any thought about pathing here, so... Sorry, uh, this might not be the most riveting of things to discuss, but we really want to make sure we're going the right way so that we pick up the right amount of resources. I see elite fights sprinkled throughout here. Two here. I would not mind going to a cultist specifically to get a lost soul part, but I just had an idea. Uh oh. Here's my idea. If I'm going to go cultist, I'm going to make a reaper. And if the reaper's in my party, I think it'll offer me the hourglass. So I'll get a guaranteed another reaper with an hourglass right now. I will make it level 9. And my party will be two abominations, two reapers. And... My whole party will be made of the new characters. And I'll have two hourglasses that trigger every single time that I use a spell. And I will have one of them free 
to be using that buff. Oh my gosh, I have to try this. Yeah, this could ruin my playthrough, but I just need to do it. I just need to do it. The sorrows of my enemies will be magnified. That is so very true. Now, before I pop the brain into him, I'm going to go to the space. Now that I'm looking at this, the left path looks a lot more lucrative, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, there's everything on the left path. Everything but cultists. Yeah, we get uh, items, fight, one steel, soul spring elite, another elite, Another steel, another soul spring, a quest, another soul spring, two more quests, or another steel. Ah, uh, okay, it's fine. It's fine. I will hold off on this. You will be my backup reaper, and you will chill here to not waste experience there we go recovered now do I open up the level 1 abode of wrath for 25 I don't think so nope we're, we're good on our wrath all right we're going to the left artifacts items one two three four one two three four I would rather have items or sorry artifacts Almost all my units are maxed except the Lost Soul with items, so... Uh, yeah, we're going up. Sorry that took so long, but that's how it be sometimes. Okay. Yet again, you move in the wrong position. I'm maintaining my mana. Alright, so what we do now is we kill one of these dudes before they even get a turn. Thank you, Meyer. Thank you. I appreciate that. I know that it can be uh, kind of boring sometimes, but... Alright. Uh, increasing these dudes' initiative will mean that they move, and then uh, he gets some damage off. I don't want him to get damage off, so we will just put another shield on you make him as tanky as we can oh whoops he's gonna use his turn to get hungry I forgot could make them lose accuracy no we're already really tanky they're gonna get their hit Oh, he'll, I mean, he's dead now. That's what's so nuts. The Ashes of Burned Witch is a two-turn deal. They don't just take the first 45, they take another 45. Um, I could kill him and uh, heal, but there's no real point in that. If this gave me mana, I would totally use this right now. I could... No, he has a block. So, yep, we're just going to burn you. Still a great choice. Still a very solid move. Yep, go ahead and use your buff. No big deal. Yeah, like I said, this guy's already dead. You do have some magic resistance now. But I'll still be able to cut through you with crushed bones if I need to. No, nah, we're, we're trying to kill this guy. Do we crush bones now? I still have his turn to think about it, so let's restore some mana. Oh, too far away. Then we use another Agony of Fire. You're already taking... How much true damage right now? Like... 50-something? Slice won't reach, but Slice would be pretty good at breaking through his shield. 
He's, he doesn't have a stance. I can't remove his buff quite yet. Funeral March is good here. Funeral March is pretty good here. Yeah. Double oh. debuff. Think about how good Funeral March is with the Lost Soul. Puts two debuffs on everybody. Um, okay, and then he is going to break through these blocks. Yeah, it looks like this guy's getting another turn. Unless... Unless... All my guys are at full. There's no need. I just want to kill as like most powerfully and efficiently as possible. There we go. Alright. And we could sudden reality, but then this guy would live. We do not want that. We do not want that. But I would make my guys super beefy if I did that. No, there's... I mean, she can just be putting up blocks and wards. There's, that's that's super valid for her to do. Yeah. If any damage does get through, it just gets healed from the pounds of flesh. Now here, we would sudden reality for quite a bit, and it would get rid of his buff. The shield's up. Right before our uh, Reaper's turn. I think that's pretty good. We're going to try to get our mana back here before the end of the fight. So let's get this guy dead. <laughs> nine attack and nine dread for everybody. That seems pretty good. That's, that's real damage. I like that. Um, yep. We'll put the three debuffs on you. Yes. Mm -hmm. With that armor, it's probably the best best course for damage. Yep, that's a lot of damage. You still can't hurt us. Oh, he, did he get the insanity that lets him move twice? He did. That's okay. 47 mana we ended that with. I think that's what we started with. And we used... One, two... Yeah, they can hit really hard, especially when I buff them. They're very, very conducive to buffs. And Lost Soul has Sudden Reality, which is the best buff, or at least a contender for the best buff in the game. Because it removes all buffs and debuffs from all of the enemies. And based on how many you removed, all of your minions get plus one damage. And that's plus one attack and plus one dread. So they deal more stress damage and they do more physical damage, which the abominations do both all the time. Um, so yeah, Lossal's very good in this team. She just wasn't very good in the beginning because she didn't have upgrades. Um, we have a talent, but we're definitely going to save that. I actually had forgotten. Where's the spell book? Forgot how to access the spell book. Maybe I can't. I think. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Oh yeah. So let's upgrade one of these two in the graveyard here. We get forty percent more chance for parts. Nine percent more chance for artifacts. Artifacts are so good. So good. If we get. One of the spirit items, which may have been nerfed, because those things are insane. Um, still don't need wrath right off the bat. 64 mana after all of our regeneration. It's really good. Let's stock up on parts. Let's do parts instead. Parts are going to be super useful. I can use parts for potions now. 
Oh. They will be expecting cannon fodder, but I will give them cannons instead. I wish we were giving them cannons instead. I wish this guy wasn't just built to work his life in the excavation site, because it's so much fun to use a zombie. Uh, I don't know if you saw this, either, Meyer. I took the time to unlock all the potions by making new profiles. So, I know what all the potions do. There are some crazy ones in here. And they look freaking sweet. Target minion gets 15 luck and 15 crit damage. So that's 15% chance to crit and 15% uh, more damage when they crit. Yeah, there's some really good ones. 20% max sanity damage. All enemies lose 9 luck. Um... We're good, we're good, we're good. We didn't get anything else here. Let's keep going. Cool, we get to see what our artifacts are. Spirit. Spear. Dang. One additional part will drop after every fight. Unfortunately, this would take the place of my uh, dagger. So, oh no, wait, it's a necklace. So this would take the place of my san sanity necklace right now. Okay. Uh, increases chance to receive other common or better parts by 25%. That's pretty good. And this thing sucks, I remember. After a victory, Rodas receives plus 40 mana for each enemy that fled. Yeah, we're not trying to let enemies flee. So one guaranteed part of random rarity, I guess. Or 25% chance to get better parts. The armor I'm wearing right now makes me take 25% less damage for the first two turns. That's super good, especially in boss fights. So I can just use that for boss fights. Thing is, my necklace kind of sucks. I feel like this is better than the outdoor fork. But my necklace is significantly worse than the outdoor fork. <laughs> and my armor is not bad. So we need to take... The outdoor fork. I'm actually picking the outdoor fork. A day. What a day this is. All for my future kingdom. Yep. Shamefully put now it on. I will make mortals tremble Finally, I know, right? Even more than previously. Imagine this super buff, crazy evil necromancer walking up onto the battlefield, and he's just got a necklace with his fork. Not even a metal fork. This thing looks like it's made of wood or clay. Like, I don't know if that's more intimidating than this giant death talisman or what. Ooh, three berserkers. Dang, you're, uh, you're not playing around. Good thing we have crazy single target damage. Okay, Gumball go first one time. Um, this might be a good instance to use energy wave. Yeah. Because this does 100 damage, but this would do 60, 60, 60. So this is doing 180% damage because of the AoE. Yeah. Who's going next? You? I would rather wait on the crush bones, I think, for right now. Didn't I get a new spell? Oh. Oh, I just moved it. Oops. Yeah, energy wave. Doesn't heal my mana, but... Can't expect everything to heal my mana. Okay. And so this guy's moving next. But I think this guy's the guy that I have the most chance to kill. There we go. Nuke. Crunchy. You're dead exactly. Exactly dead. Um. 
that feels good. Get up front so you're not uh, letting him take the beating of all of these dudes. Hey, you're not allowed to throw axes. Yeah, dude. <laughs> this never gets old. Um. No, let's not heal. Look, then again, I mean, putting sanity damage on these guys is just not good because they can go berserk, which is uh, scary. So, I mean, I actually think the best course of action is to do what I've been doing. Yeah. Unless I plan to use sudden reality very soon. No. Nope. Let's do what I've been doing. Yeah, their burst is very, very good. And I have a crazy, crazy spell from an item. So. Alright, yep. That's good damage. Hey, amateur. Uh, the weekend was good. I am setting myself to a schedule with this game. And I want to do Monday through Friday. Try to get like a work feeling out of it and so I enjoyed my weekend like it was truly a weekend so it was nice uh, let's see here could kill you with just a simple click of a button Gorger's moving next and will not kill Yeah, I mean, until I need to soak up mana, I don't see a reason not to. I don't see a reason not to. This is so silly. Die. <laughs> uh, so good. Yeah, I mean, I want this guy in full life, so I might as well heal him. And, yeah, I mean... What do you want from me, game? I just clicked the button. Mm -hmm. Yep, give me some mana back. This is your last attack, my friend. Well, and he's gonna heal most of what you just did. So, I do want to wait until the Reaper can go and get a little bit more mana. We came into here with like 60 some. My entire team ends on full life. A predictable outcome. Three weapons, that's not bad at all. I'm still getting flasks, I guess there's no way. <laughs>